Hello, this is Bruce Brockman. You're about to watch a uh, short video, which is a run-through of a presentation that I'm going to be making for the Northeast Ohio PC Club. The uh, presentation regards free things that you can get from the internet. And certainly everyone that watches this video or comes to the presentation is going to have a very different want or need as far as free is concerned uh, and have a very different idea of what it means. In reality there isn't uh, a whole lot in this world that is totally free including the air we breathe. Uh, there are some things that are free on the internet uh, but you do have to understand a lot of things before you start pursuing these free things and the purpose of this video is to get you ready to do that. Uh, you're going to be saying as you come through this video, when are we going to get to the free things? When are we going to get to the free things? Well, the free things, the really free things come at the end of the video and you need to be prepared to uh, pursue your quest for free things and that's hopefully what this video and my presentation is going to do for you. So, uh, sit back and you can watch it all the way through or watch parts of it or just the parts that you think are important whatever it is uh, that will ultimately get you the free things from the internet that you want before we get started uh, you need to be aware that I do all of these presentations unscripted so uh, what you hear here may not necessarily be a total duplicate to what you're going to hear at the uh, NEOPC meeting. So let's get started. Getting free or almost free stuff. Almost uh, is as important as free actually. The formula free stuff is the sum of information which equals knowledge and you don't need a great deal of technical knowledge or any other kind of knowledge because it gets squared here. Uh, some geeks might disagree with that, but anyhow, times skill, and that's mostly having to do with searching. The amount of time you put in divided by perhaps just a little good luck. So free from the Mary, from the internet, Merriam-Webster says free, not costing or charging anything. But cost is to require expenditure or payment. So free, other than some Empyrean things, what's really free? Air, you have to pay taxes. So uh, very few things in this world that are totally free. Our goal as we go through this presentation is to keep the expenditures or payments as low as possible. Often the uh, cost of free internet offers is equal to their secondary cost and uh, whether it's time or whether it's dollars uh, there is some cost involved. You have to do some things typically in order to get free. Some of it's very little and some of it can be extensive. And the big deal is personal information. That is what most of the free offers are looking for. They want to be able to, after they give you something free, sell you something. And that information is actually quite valuable and uh, is bought and sold on a regular basis. But what is the number one thing that is free from the internet? And only one answer. It's information. And there's an endless amount of it available to anyone that uh, is willing to expend a little uh, time. But information uh, truly can be a double-edged sword. Good information is absolutely great and you can get a lot out of it and it, uh, it's going to help you grow and be and do, that information is, is dangerous. 
So we want to try and avoid bad information. So despite everything you've heard, and any commercial you may have watched, everything you read or see on the internet may be a stretch of the truth, or a visual deception, or just absolutely outright a lie and attempt to deceive you and take advantage of you. And that's what we want to prevent here. So the risk in going on the internet and going after free things is minimal to none if you're prepared. The reward, well, leprechauns are jealous, no doubt. So let's get prepared. Okay, you need some personal tools to get started when you're looking for three th free things on the internet. First one is to get a second or third email account, or fourth or fifth, uh, and use this to sign up for trials and to give as an address that, to someone you know is going to be sending you a lot of things, and you don't want to clog up your personal communications with that. Generally, I recommend Gmail from Google for uh, several reasons that we're going to talk about later here. But did a search for free email service reviews. And if you drop down to the third one here, you'll see free email service reviews 2012. Just below that, you'll see the top 19 free email services. And if you notice, when we did the search, we got 1,180,000,000 hits about free email service. So there's plenty of other ones out there besides Gmail. Um, and again, five years ago, I would have said no Gmail, no Google, no anything. Uh, the reality is that Google has uh, positioned themselves well enough and worked hard at it enough to make them uh, probably the premier provider on the internet of free and almost free services. So you'll be able to find uh, whether it's a Gmail account or something else you'll be able to find one. Next uh, you're going to want to get a free phone number and you get it from Google Voice and when you do Google Voice search you get a bunch of hits, 256 million hits actually. I've had Google Voice for several years and uh, the reality is they will give you a phone number in the area code of your choosing that is yours free for life uh, and you can do a variety of things with it. You can have it forwarded to your cell phone, you can have it forwarded to your house phone, you can have it take just voicemails. Uh, it will then show up in your Gmail. Uh, they go ahead and transcribe it for you. Uh, and they also put a link to the actual voicemail that was left for you. There are many people, uh, and I say people, I'm talking about companies uh, that have a requirement for a phone number in order to uh, take part in their free things. So sign up for a free phone number and then they're going to, and this is when I signed up for our uh, 50th reunion, I got a free phone number for that. And uh, Google does a, an excellent job of training you on using their products. So this was the email that came from Google Voice when I uh, when I got the phone number and as you can see there are 10 different videos listed here that show you how to use the product uh, in most cases you may just want to after you, you and you have to originally uh, connect it to a phone whether it's a home phone or a cell phone or whatever phone and then you can undo that and just have it send you uh, the voicemail to your inbox Okay, uh, now that we've made those preparations, the next thing we need to do is make sure your computer is safe as you wander around on the internet. 
and I'm sure everyone here has some sort of antivirus program and lots of arguments to which is the best and so on. For 10 years, I recommended AVG and was a huge proponent of AVG. And they got into some technical issues, and I went looking around and found Microsoft Security Essentials. And two words you normally don't associate together would be Microsoft and free. So why do they furnish a free antivirus program? Because they want to sell more computers that have Microsoft stuff on it. And if it gets buggy with computer things, with virus things, they can't. They have a vested interest in making sure that they have absolutely the best antivirus out there. And they furnish it free. I've been using it now for a couple of years and uh, virtually no failures. There have been a couple and whatever. It's like many other uh, antiviruses goes every day and looks for an update. So if you get your update at 8 in the morning and somebody creates a new virus at 1030, they're going to miss it. And there you go. But anyhow, it's a great program. It's free. Uh, you'll have the link later on in this program uh, and I'll give it out to you on a DVD on how to get there to install this. If you still have uh, Norton or McAfee or whatever and you've paid for it, use it up before you uh, make the switch, but definitely make the switch. Okay, now there are some really truly ugly things that get into the root of the computer and so on and so on. And things that get missed, or things that certain people think are a problem and other people don't think are a problem. This organization, Malwarebytes, and it is an organization uh, that works with the general public license to produce software uh, to scan for viruses and uh, things in the root of the directories and on and on. Very technical. And... Uh, much more in-depth than preventing viruses. If you've already got one, this can get rid of it. So, I recommend that you get this. It's a free program. Again, there will be a link to it. Uh, perform the scan. You may want to do a full scan the first time. It takes a long time. Then perform a quick scan. Nothing on this is automatic. You have to go get the updates and you have to run it yourself. Unless you buy it. Uh, they have a paid-for version. Uh, you know, even though it is a uh, nonprofit organization, they uh, they still have to pay their people and do things and whatever. So they do have a pay-for version of it. And when you're installing the free version, you have to make sure you don't get the pay-for version. Anyhow, it's a great program. I've been using this again. I uh, I started using it one of the two times in my entire life that I got a ugly virus. This was the only way I could get rid of it. Most other people threw their computers away. And then finally, another free program called CCleaner. Uh, this program does a lot of things. I'm not going to get into all of them. The reason I put it up here is if you're going to be doing a lot of things on the internet, your computer gets cluttered with files. Uh, I run CCleaner usually every day, sometimes twice a day. Uh, I think this was a whole day I hadn't run it. Uh, but as you can see, there are, uh, I don't know, there was well over 5,000 files and 433 megs of extraneous stuff that needs to go. Uh, so you just run this, you analyze it, it finds it, and then you just say run the cleaner and it cleans it out for you. This also will work with your registry and your startup menu and a variety of other things. But having this program, this free program, and running it uh, at least once a week is an excellent idea. Make your browsing experience much better. And finally, and most importantly, and most difficulty in doing is safety for your mind. So you uh, explore all of these things on the internet, find all these things on the internet, and how do you know they're true? Uh, well, there are certain sites that specialize in. Uh, 
talking about stories and urban legends and all kinds of things and Snoops was the definitive program for that. Uh, I have stopped using Snoops primarily. I use Snoops occasionally but uh, they have some political affiliations and whatever and it does color their thinking on some things. So, uh, do, do a search and here's a list of 50 sites that are similar to Snoops. So there are lots of places that you can go and verify what you've heard or what you think or what you've been told. Uh, another thing I would do if you're not feeling comfortable with a company or anything at all, do a search. I don't know how many of you are familiar with MF Global, but it's a company that uh, lost 1.6 billion dollars of their customers money uh, but before you put money into MF Global if you would have done a search on them you would have found uh, a lot of different things out about them there were 28 million 100,000 hits for that uh, I chose the second one here which is MF Global Wikipedia and if you aren't familiar with Wikipedia, you should be. And I'm going to click on it and it will open the link for me here. And it goes into a, a total history of MF Global, what they do, what they've done, everything about them. It breaks it down with a table of contents and you can look up anything that you uh, want to know uh, about them uh, spin-off going to the Pacific and so on and so on so if you're not familiar with uh, Wikipedia you should be so what kind of free things can you get from the internet and in no particular order although uh, food is probably the number one thing that Truly, you can get free things, and you can get prepared food. You can get uh, restaurant coupons. You can get things for cooking utensils. It's uh, there's an awful lot out there, and we'll discuss some of those a little bit later. Household items, uh, name brands, and we're talking anywhere from uh, toilet paper to car wash. Uh, there are new things out there that uh, companies want you to know about, and they're willing to give their product away for you to feel good about it use it. Travel, you need to be careful here. I've never seen a travel offer that didn't have some strings attached to it, some costs attached to it, and it just may be sitting and listening about uh, they want you to buy a condo for a couple hours uh, and they're willing to put you up and fly you there and do a variety of things and feed you and everything else. You need to be uh, search that one out, uh, do some checking on the company and so on. Computer related you can get software storage I'm talking about storage outside of your computer which very few people do until uh, it strikes and you lose it all and then you start to think about it. You get help on all kinds of technical related products and you can actually get free products Entertainment, big, huge area, games, music, movies, books, TV, puzzles, most people aren't aware of all that's available for free out there. You can get advice on uh, health, money, travel, almost anything you can think of. There's somebody that wants to give you some advice about it. Uh, Google even has a section uh, that is uh, a search of all universities uh, on any topic that you might want to give them. Communications, voice and video over uh, the internet, email, phone, instant messaging, free. Found a, a new uh, video program that you can conference up to 15 people for free, which is kind of neat. Contests, if you have the time, there's a bazillion contests out there. You enter enough, and you're going to win a couple, uh, and you get free stuff. It takes a lot of time. Work uh, to make an income this is another one you need to be careful. Uh, you know, they're going to let you stuff envelopes at home and make a $300 an hour or whatever. 
And then it turns out uh, but you need to buy the list from them or you have to buy the special envelopes from them or they'll give you a computer for a low cost. Anyhow, just be careful with that. Uh, and Craigslist falls into that category. Uh, I mean, we're not even going to get into Craigslist now or eBay. And how to tutorials on everything how to fix anything from cars to appliances and I'm not kidding so here we go uh, and to find out how to do something I'm a fairly visual person so this works for me YouTube if you want to know how to change a water pump in a 2002 GM V6 vehicle you put that in their search and lo and behold you get 358 hits about how to change that water pump and it will uh, actually show you how to do it what to remove first and so on and so on to washing machines so you want to repair your Maytag washer the timer and it's bad do a search for that and lo and behold you get 271 hits and again uh, very specific you may even want to get deeper into your query up here but it's all there um, if you're into do-it-yourself um, or just willing to try do-it-yourself there's a place that you can get some help doing it there are other places too, eHow and so on okay so if you have a very specific thing that you want to gather some knowledge on there's a little known or used thing called Google Alerts and Google Alerts will send you uh, information about what is new every single day on the internet so if it wasn't there yesterday it's there today they'll send you an alert this has been posted on the internet I've been doing a uh, Google alert for free stuff internet for I don't know year year and a half 532 emails I've gotten from them in regards to that and you'll see it's uh, virtually every day they send you one uh, with what's new on the internet about whatever it is you want to know so Google Alerts you have a search query which is what you want to know about and you fill that in and make it as detailed or broad as you want the result type do you want everything do you want very specific do you want and so on how often do you want it? Once a day, once a week, once a month. And how many results do you want? Do you want only the best results? Do you want uh, everything, wherever? And you have to have it delivered to a Gmail address. So let's create an, an alert for free food coupons. And we want them to send us everything, once a day, all results. And when we put that in, this is what you're going to get for the first day. They check news stories, they check blogs, and they check the web. In this case, they found 27 news stories. And without showing you, they found 10 and 10 for the blogs and the web. Uh, that's a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, if you've got the time, great. If you don't, then you need to change something. And we went to only the best results. And lo and behold, that changed it to just one news story. Uh, no blogs and five things from the internet so uh, you can manage this any way you want it runs forever you can do it about anything you want if there's a company you think of investing in there's a place you think you're going to go on vacation uh, whatever it is that uh, you want to put in here as a search query they'll send it to you every day Next, I want to talk a little bit about uh, all of these free services and how you deal with them and how you get to them and whatever. And things change virtually every day. Uh, since I started doing this, Firefox 15 came out, and that's different than 14 and so on and so on. It was uh, <clears throat> Internet Explorer and Firefox had buttons that you could click on for the all of the services that Google had maps and uh, finance and translation and Google Earth and Gmail and uh, the list goes on and on and then you had a little button that you could add buttons uh, 
it's not that way in Firefox 15. Then they've gone to this Google Plus, which is a black bar that shows up under your browser heading. And uh, Chrome and Safari both use that. And again, you can see that there is search and images and maps and play, which includes books and magazines and things. YouTube, news, Gmail, documents, calendar, more. And uh, when you hit more, you get a drop down box that says translate, and they'll translate anything that's on the internet, they'll translate it from this language to that language, whatever. Books, which is interesting, which I'll show you in a little bit. Shopping, they have a complete uh, shopping service. So on any given item, if it's uh, like a toaster oven uh, made by Black & Decker, they'll show you the lowest price and there are 64 companies that sell it and there are six that are close to you within driving distance and it'll tell you how far away they are and whether they have it in stock or not and on and on and on. And then you can click on even more and lo and behold they've got tons of more free things. Uh, we're only going to talk about a few of them here though. And the uh, first one we're going to talk about is called Google Drive, which used to be Google Docs. And again, this is uh, basically cloud storage. And this is a place where you can put your files and feel very comfortable about them being safe. Uh, and uh, safe as far as being lost and safe as far as anybody reading them. Uh, and they'll be, Google will be glad to go into the details as far as what they do to make sure that it's safe. But again, it's uh, they'll furnish you five gigs of free space. You'll be able to access that from anywhere you can access a computer uh, that can get on the internet. And once again, you'll notice Google is uh, very good about giving you videos to explain what it is that they have and how to use it. So, uh, they give you the five gigs for free, and I started using it about three years ago. And they would sell you an additional 20 gigs of space for $5 a year, which I bought. And uh, obviously the program's been successful and they thought they were underpriced, so they have now changed it and you buy 25 gigs for $2.49 a month. Uh, $30 a year as opposed to $5 a year for 20 gigs. Inflation gets you. And they want me to downgrade my account to one of these other ones. No thank you, I am grandfathered in. Uh, good deal, but there are better deals out there. Uh, and actually the best deal is uh, Google Cloud. Uh, they're in this uh, $5 range, I think it's $10 for 20 gigs, $10 a year for 20 gigs. So uh, any of those would be uh, worth looking at anyhow. And you should indeed think about storing your important files off-site. Put this in just to show you. This is from uh, Google Books. And in addition to tens of thousands of books you can read for free online, uh, they also have a ton of magazines, and Life Magazine was always one of my favorites. And they go back to 1935 issues. I just picked a couple to give you an example. You can read the entire, they have scanned it, and they have the entire magazine available for you to, uh, to read online. Uh, fascinating stuff, some of it. This uh, one was from February 15th, 1943. I was on page 96 thumbing through this thing and uh, saw this ad for uh, these are military dress shoes. Uh, you could pay six to eight dollars for them, uh, which I found fascinating. Things have changed. Interestingly enough, and just exploring something else, I found this exact picture as a poster on eBay for fourteen dollars, I believe it was. Somebody made a copy of it and printed it and we're going to sell it for 14 bucks. Bless their hearts. It's the American way. 
So let's uh, get into searching. I mean, this really is the crux of how you're going to find free stuff or almost free stuff. So this first search I did was for free coupons and I found 212 million hits for free coupons. Uh, that's a lot of things to go through and one of the other skills that you really need to develop is reading quickly through underneath the links to see if it's something that you think you want to know more about. It's uh, unfortunate also you'll get sidetracked as you do that, but that's okay. The way Google is set up, the uh, first one or two ads are typically pay-for ads. Everything here on the right-hand side, the food coupons, 500 plus free, grocery coupons, those are all paid-for ads. And when people are paying for something, it's not because they're benevolent. Um, you'll wind up paying something yourself over there. So if we uh, change the search to free stuff rather than free coupons, uh, you'll see that we came up with 946 million hits. Uh, again, the same setup on the right hand side, pay for ads. Uh, this first one I know is uh, a paid for ad. Um, so again, reading, going to the site, quickly exploring, uh, all ways to narrow down where you can get the free stuff. Okay, also at the bottom of the Google pages, they have uh, other thoughts that you may want to search for, whether it's uh, free stuff online, free t-shirts, free stuff without surveys, and so on. They make suggestions for other searches that you might want to do. Now, uh, Google certainly isn't the only search engine out there. Bing is a Microsoft search engine, and uh, when you do a search for free stuff with Bing, you come up with 1,400,000,000 hits. They're related is uh, right up here at the top. You don't have to go to the bottom of the page to find out what they think you might be looking for. And again, free stuff without surveys is, uh, seems to be a reoccurring uh, theme here. So you could do a Yahoo search for free stuff and Yahoo found 2,520,000,000 related things. And again, they also have a couple more things that you might be thinking about when you're asking for free stuff. And you don't have to uh, keep it just to the search engines. You can go to Amazon and do a search for free stuff. And it came up with a couple hundred of things, uh, even though some of them were, uh, this one was $1.99, that one was free, that one was a penny. This one had free uh, shipping or a free gift pouch or something, something. And some of these things had some uh, very good five-star ratings from customers and so on and so forth. Uh, if you're an Amazon fan, it might be a place to spend some time. And if you're not, don't worry about it, for sure. So, searching is the key to successful finding of free stuff and without spending a lot of time uh, looking at things that are not what you want. So a bad search, uh, you get wrong or too much information. A good search, you get what you're looking for and maybe even more than what you're looking for in the form of information. So yeah, I stuck this slide in here. And at this point, some of you are probably asking yourself, well, what do other people look for? What do they search for? What, what's on the internet that they want to know about? And indeed, there is a, if you do a search for search, you come up with this. And, and what it'll do is give you a page. It said on Tuesday, September 4th, uh, there were 50,000 searches for Michael Strahan because he was going to be Kelly's partner. And then uh, over 2 million for Mr. Duncan, who died. And uh, this changes by the hour. Uh, and they put new stuff up, what people are searching for. It's, uh, it's interesting. It may not have anything to do with free, and it may. So searching is 
the most important part of what you're going to be doing. And search engines want more, not less information. Most people uh, try and make their searches, and I think the average is 2.3 words is the average. You know, if you need to put in 50, you need to put in 50. You need to be specific about what it is you're looking for. So, uh, what we really want with this search is a coupon for Campbell's Vegetable Soup. That's what we want. And as we start to uh, do some searches, we started searching for coupons first and got 160 million. So we thought we would uh, do better with free coupons and it, did, it got us up to 250 million hits. So let's narrow it down a little more yet. So coupons, free food. Didn't do much. Got 159 million hits. Coupons, free food, vegetable, soup, vegetable, 19 million. Now oh, that's getting more manageable and probably concentrated. And when we add Campbell's to the end of that, we get 402,000, which isn't too bad. Uh, but if you do the right search for it, you get Campbell's Vegetable Soup Coupon. And you add to it the date because you don't want any expired coupons. So you September 2012 and it narrowed it down to 388,000. And in looking at this again, you know that uh, these top ones are paid for as well as the ones on the right hand side. But we'll take a look at it anyhow. It's from Giant Eagle, which is a local store. And let's see what they have for a uh, coupon for Campbell's Soup. And if you click on that, it takes you to their site, and it says, uh, I did a search for Campbell's Soup. And it said they only had one thing close to it, and it was say 50 cents on Progresso Soup. Uh, so because they paid, for, they paid for an ad with Google, and more than one, uh, they get listed right up there at the top, and uh, a little misleading, but we know that ahead of time, that those are pay for us. So, more interesting would be, and again, doing a quick peruse through these things. Uh, I wound up down here, Campbell's Kitchen. That's not Campbell's Soup, that's the corporate headquarters, the kitchen. And that I know that that uh, typically is something that may have something I want in their savings center. And if you start to read quickly through some of the blurb, it says save a dollar on soup and blah, blah, blah. So that's probably the one we want to look at. And if you go to their site, lo and behold, yes, they have soup. Uh, and you can get various kinds. And you can get uh, a coupon for a dollar on four cans or whatever. A lot of these sites, uh, when you're getting coupons, you select the coupon. Now let's go to their site, actually. And we can show you uh, from there what we're going to do. You can select any of the products that they have. Select the coupon for it. And they got SpaghettiOs and they got uh, Healthy Request and Chicken Breasts and all kinds of stuff. We ate. I like that. Uh, and then when you've selected all the ones you want, then you just click on Print the Selected Coupons. And uh, your printer will spit them out so you can use them at the store. And typically, uh, a company like Campbell's will have other things here, cooking solutions, and they have all kinds of recipes and answer a lot of questions and whatever. It's uh, quite a complete site, worth a minute or two of your time, anyhow. So, uh, I'm going to be talking about, and, and search applies to anywhere that you're searching. Uh, when you develop good search habits, you will be uh, pleased with yourself because you'll spend a lot less time looking for what it is you want, as long as you don't get sidetracked like I do. Anyhow, uh, we're going to talk about open office a little later. Uh, but if you go to YouTube and uh, search for open office, you'll see that uh, there are a lot of different kinds of things, spreadsheets, database, presentations, which you're looking at an open office presentation right now. Uh, and so on. 
so basically you need to narrow down your search and we want open office tutorials on writer which is their equivalent of microsoft word and when you do that you'll see that they come up with 1330 visual tutorials on using open office word a writer so uh, really probably need to narrow it down beyond that here down here you're talking about how to insert a text frame and a picture in a document and so on and so forth so again searching is uh, extremely important and doing the right search for yourself much better all right so we're getting to something that's really free uh, this one is uh, nuance pdf converter professional 7 and when I see something like this, I know the Professional 8 is on its way out shortly, and they're trying to get rid of inventory, which typically there's not that much difference between 7 and 8, but anyhow, some people just have to have the latest and greatest. This uh, program briefly converts things to and from PDF, which can be very useful, and we'll just leave it at that. I actually have Adobe to do that for me. I think I paid almost 300 bucks for the Professional Acrobat version to do the same thing. Anyhow, uh, the original price was $99.99. Instant savings of $60, which tells me that eight sure is on its way out. And then less a rebate of $40. So you're going to get it for free. Typically, Nuance would do this to help encourage, and this was from Tiger Direct, their sites, to uh, get the shelves clean so that they'll order lots of the new eight so, uh, whenever you're looking at something like this, you want to look at see the terms because there might be something there that changes everything. So, we look at the click on that, look at that, and it says uh, rebate information. First thing you see is that there are two separate rebates, which means that you're going to have to fill out two sets of papers and two envelopes and stamps and whatever, which is okay. And they're going to send you not U.S. currency, but they're going to send you a prepaid reward card uh, in both cases. And and I can tell you from experience, the reward card is American Express. In any place that will take American Express, we'll take that reward card, and uh, you get your 40 bucks. And the thing turns out to be virtually free, other than some time and a couple stamps. Now, uh, here's an example of not a good thing get it free so there's a site that said get it free and you, you know companies need you to test their free samples that makes sense so they want your name they want your email they want your phone date of birth yeah okay zip code probably all right something like this I want to look at the privacy policy and they also have a marketing partners and that usually is the dip did give away. So if you click on their privacy policy, it goes on and on and on. In legalese that nobody bothers to read. I'm looking for their uh, marketing partners in here, and it virtually says that you uh, empower their marketing partners to, and here's a list of some of their Caribbean cruise lines. They're going to call you live or pre recorded, or probably both, and bug you to death. Uh, about taking uh, a cruise. Um, not free. I don't tell you what a great deal it is, but not free. Uh, Debt Solution Center, Diabetic Discount Club, and you're, you're giving your consent to all these people to call you up. And if you wanted to do this, that's why you have the uh, Google Voice. Uh, all it does is wind up in your inbox and you can delete it. And sooner or later they'll leave you alone, maybe. Oh, another one that was free from the internet and, uh, well, $100 worth of Dunkin' Donuts. I could gain probably 50 pounds on that. Anyhow, you start looking at uh, what you got to fill out to get their $100 free donuts. And they want to know about your income. They want to know about whether you have credit cards or debit cards. They want to know uh, how much in debt you are. They want to know whether you had diabetes, whether you had arthritis, whether you have knee pain sleep apnea, you have depression, I, what's this got to do with that? If I have donuts, I won't have depression, you know? Uh, so, anyhow, this looks like it's just a little too nosy. I'm going to wind up with these marketing partner things, and 
I click to close the page. It says, leave the page. You sure you want to go? You don't want this $100 coupon? Yeah, I don't think I do. So anyhow, we come now to uh, one of the good ones. Uh, coupon Mom, bless her heart. Uh, this is one of the sites where, indeed, it's legitimate. You can get free things uh, and related to uh, food and household products and pet products and on and on and on. It's uh, restaurants. It's very up to date uh, and very legit. And uh, if you just click on examples before you even sign up for this thing, uh, uh, here's one that was part of recommended by Coupon Mom. And uh, this is one that like get free samples of these things, except it really is. And if you click down here uh, on the Today Show, they went into uh, this is it's legitimate and all that sort of stuff. But as you see, you have to watch the commercial before you can watch the commercial. Uh, typical. But anyhow, they say it's legit that they got all kinds of free stuff and there were no strings and all that sort of stuff. So one of the good things. This is a uh, Another example from Coupon Mom. On the first page here, you had a bunch of things that you make money buying. Uh, first one was big disposable razors, and you made a dollar three cents when you bought them. Coupon Mom also uh, has some humanitarian goals here, and, and they recommend that some of these things, uh, even if you don't need it, if it doesn't cost you a lot, give it away to charity. And uh, they list the ones that. Uh, they think would be a, a good thing that the charities are always looking for. Uh, they're very specific about how you would obtain how many you have to buy and in-store coupons and if it's not where to print the coupons and all that sort of thing. And it goes on for literally hundreds of pages. Uh, if you have the time and you want to do something like that, free stuff. Actually make money on some of it. Not a lot. Okay. Now we're getting down to uh, what I'm going to give you as free stuff from the internet. All right, we're going to talk about some of these free things now. The first uh, item up here is uh, favorites bookmarks PDF. Uh, in the presentation, obviously, we click on that to go to that, uh, which brings up this page, which is uh, actually sitting on my website. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. You have a, a PDF copy of that and the links in it work on your CD. So, obviously our host is first on our mind here. Uh, and they have nothing to do with free. You need to pay to belong to this wonderful organization. Except those that were lucky enough to set up last month. Anyhow, uh, let's go through these really quickly. Uh, you can explore them all you want on your own. Wikipedia, we uh, visited there earlier. It's a uh, online encyclopedia that can, anyone can add to. Uh, it is checked fairly regularly for authenticity, but uh, not absolutely the end authority on details. Tech support form is just what it says. You can go there if you've got a problem with uh, a computer, a cell phone, uh, fax machine or whatever and you can get an answer. Ref Desk is a home page you can use that has a, a lot of interesting facts, news and whatever and it also is a uh, search engine. Ask is another search engine. Uh, does an excellent job of searching the web. YouTube we talked about earlier. You can find anything and everything on YouTube uh, that you can use for entertainment or for free stuff or whatever. eHow has videos just like it implies that tells you how to do things. Expert Village is related to eHow. Help is uh, more of a personal type website where if you uh, have a bad relationship you can go and talk about it anonymously. Noah is your weather. Uh, yellow pages and white pages, look people up. WebMD, well known for uh, even doctors support WebMD. So if you got a pain in your pinky, a good place to go figure out why. 
Medline Plus uh, also is is excellent. Next ones are uh, compare prices. So if you're looking to buy something, uh, these sites uh, will compare web stores as well as brick and mortar stores, give you the uh, best price and uh, where you can get it. Free online slots is probably the uh, still it was the most popular website for seniors and lots of other players. It actually has uh, oh, we're going to go there slot machines that you can play and you actually can win money on these things. They award $500 cash prizes once a week for high scores uh, just like being in Vegas. Ooh, so close yet so far. One more. Not doing very well here. It is addicting though. Anyhow. My brother plays that by the hour, no doubt. And uh, free slots, games, jigsaw puzzles, more games, more games, online card games. You can play against people, play against yourself anywhere in the world. Many books uh, is part of the Project Gutenberg. Their goal is to have every book that's ever been written uh, on their website. They have it in a multitude of formats uh, for Nooks, for Kindles, for uh, Tom's e-reader, which we'll talk about later. Uh, excellent site. All free. Playlist. Uh, any song you can think of that was ever written, they probably got it by the artist you want to hear it by. You can create playlists and do whatever you want to do there. Uh, radio Station Guide, uh, excellent by uh, Microsoft, uh, has a bunch of different radio stations if you want to play these things in the background. Uh, it's great music and uh, you can listen to it, just listen to it or you can go directly to the uh, website of the radio station. <laughs> Enough of that. And then we've got uh, a couple of newspapers USA Today, New York Times, The Times of London, Washington Post, uh, Sports Illustrated. They all have an online presence and you can read them for free. A travel site, which is the Travel Channel. Some food sites, all recipes, probably got the best recipes on the net. Uh, this is the Food Network, and you can watch your favorite uh, folks there. Chefs, greeting cards, find your way around. Mouse around, this is games, but it's also practice for uh, using a mouse, which is excellent thing to be practicing. Uh, free touch typing program, Edmunds gives you price on new and used cars and a complete rundown on what's in them and all that sort of stuff. A genealogy program that's free. PayPal is uh, the safest way to pay for things on the internet. Stocks. If you're a budding uh, writer, you can get uh, up to 5,000 free fonts to put on. Google Drive, and this is um, some of the free storage that I was telling you about. If you haven't backed up your computer, please do that. You can do it for free and off-site and whatever. Uh, some humor by uh, seniors. Uh, great stuff, SeniorNet, great stuff. Some coupon sites down here, uh, which is worth looking at. And if you need to talk to anybody, I'm on here. Uh, I think I missed Hulu somewhere. Should have been up here. Well, I don't see it. It was on the list. I don't know where it went to. Anyhow, Hulu, H-U-L-U dot com. Uh, free place to watch television shows uh, from the past. Uh, have Gun Will Travel, one of my all-time favorites when I was about six. 
Uh, they have all the series on there in black and white, and you can watch them all for free. And almost every other popular series of that vintage. So those are just some of the uh, free places you can go for information and uh, entertainment. Next we're going to talk about some free programs. And now we're going to talk about the programs. Uh, this too is on my website for the uh, presentation, but you'll have a copy of it on the CD. First one is my favorite, uh, OpenOffice. Uh, seven or eight years ago, you couldn't convince me that anybody could do anything better than Microsoft Office. Um, I switched back then and have become a big fan of it ever since. It uh, basically around the world is the number one office suite. Uh, it looks very similar to Microsoft Office. Uh, much more complete and it's for free. Uh, you're watching this presentation which was done with uh, my open office. Their version of PowerPoint which is Impress. Mozilla Thunderbird is a email client, which uh, most of you would be familiar, I guess, with Outlook. Same type of thing. Uh, has a lot more bells and whistles, actually, and uh, does an excellent job. You can get all your email in one place without having to go onto the web to get it. Uh, it does it for you. Firefox is uh, a web browser, like uh, Internet Explorer, or Chrome, or Safari. Uh, Almost all of the web designers use Firefox as their basic building block. Missoula Backup is uh, a tool to back up Firefox and Thunderbird. So uh, if you have a lot of bookmarks and whatever in Firefox and Thunderbird, it'll back up all your email and back up all your contacts and so on. Uh, Thunderbird also allows you to use uh, a format called IMAP, which leaves actually leaves the email on your server, but you see it on uh, in Thunderbird. Chrome browser, my favorite, fastest, least resource. It just does a great job. See Cleaner, we talked about earlier. Uh, Our Bytes, we talked about earlier. Microsoft Security Essentials, we talked about earlier. You should get all of them and use them. Keep ass. Uh, irritates me more probably than anything else. It's a place to keep all of your passwords and anything that you want to keep under E lock and key uh, and use different passwords for different sites and use complicated ones. Uh, it's a great program, uh, but you have to use it. Zip Genius is the uh, alternative to WinZip, which costs money, this doesn't, and it uh, every bit is good. TrueCrypt, if you got stuff that you want to hide from the IRS or your husband or your wife, or I don't know who you'd be hiding it from, this is the place. Uh, it actually puts a uh, container uh, on your hard drive that you put files in, and uh, it's got DOD level of encryption, and uh, no one's going to get at your files. Uh, get one print screen. You all have seen the button on your keyboard that says print screen system required. That's the system that's required. Teeny spell. I'll put that on there because I was of the, uh, I was schooled that didn't matter how you spell it, just the way it sounds and that's all right. Uh, it doesn't do today. Teeny spell runs in the background no matter where you're typing, whether you're on the internet or program that has a spell checker or not it's checking your spelling great little program runs in the background not a bother free eraser is a file shredder that uh, if you have a file that uh, needs to be gone permanently that can't be recovered that's the one that does it DOD level uh, makes it happen team viewer is uh, one of many remote control programs I think it's the best uh, it allows someone to 
take over your computer. It allows you to view each other's screens. Uh, the reason I like it so well, besides it working well, is it also has audio and video with it, which uh, seems to make people feel better when they're letting somebody take over their computer. Skype, uh, voice and video over the internet. Been using it since there basically has been a Skype. Great program. Uh, I don't understand why more people don't use it. Uh, virtually when I'm home, this is where I make all my calls. Uh, it's all hands-free and just works great. Zoom is the new program I mentioned that uh, allows uh, up to 15 people to be in a video conference. It's free. Uh, I've used it a little bit and uh, looks great. DSpeech uh, allows you to read anything with the computer it, uh, using the computer's voice uh, on the internet, books, whatever. Video LAN. Uh, today there are so many different formats for movies that sometimes they won't play on this player or they'll prefer that player or whatever. This player will play. 99% of what's out there. Uh, let's see, if it won't play it as a really an obscure thing. Great free player. Uh, next one is uh, Free Quarter 6 which allows you to capture videos and music off the internet. Uh, don't do anything illegal guys. Of all of the uh, digital photograph manipulating software that I have used. I keep coming back to this. It's uh, a French program. It is free. It has a ton of plugins and there is almost nothing you can't do with this program very easily. XN Viewer, a lot of people want to put together slideshows with music and this, that, and the other and, and be able to send it to anyone so it has to be an executable file. This does it well. GIMP is virtually Photoshop. Uh, if you're into digital photography at that level, this is the free program for you. Free unit converter, as it says here, it has conversions of 5,000 various units in 21 categories. Unbelievable. Convert anything to anything, measurement wise. JD Voicemail, if you get tired of typing uh, emails, this thing will put it in a recording for you and attach it automatically to a blank email and uh, it's a great program we've used it uh, with a lot of seniors although uh, I get lazy occasionally or want to tell somebody something rather than write it to them. Good program for free. All these programs are free. Uh, they're either general public license or there's somebody that feels guilty they've made so much money on the internet that they want to give back or they're working on a uh, grant and they can't charge for it. A uh, variety of reasons, but all these things that you're seeing here are indeed free. Uh, word of warning, uh, the internet is becoming more aggressive in regards to trying to make money with things. Uh, be very careful as you install these and uncheck boxes that say you want to uh, add something to this uh, program. It's either they want to charge you something or they want to put on a toolbar or whatever. Just uh, Go slowly when you install them and uh, make sure that uh, you uncheck the boxes or check the right boxes. Quick Poker, uh, for those of you that are uh, Texas Hold'em fans, you can play it and whatever against yourself or other people. And Tom Z-Tex Reader, uh, I've been using that reader forever. You can get uh, all kinds of free books for it and it uh, really is a, a great reader. So those are some of the programs that uh, I've used on a regular basis over the years. They're all free, they're all useful, they all work, some better than others, but uh, they're the best in the category. So, uh, just click on each one. If you decide to uh, do it, it'll take you to the site for the download. Well, those are some free things that can lead you to some other free things. That's what it's all about, getting the right information to do what you want to do. So 
So, be safe. Don't let technology make you angry. <laughs> Computers cost a lot of money. You don't want to hurt them too badly. Have fun. Can't imagine what they might be looking at. And, as Spock would say, live long and prosper. Read the fine print. If you're suspicious, there's probably a reason that you are. So take the time when you when you have that feeling, take the time and read the fine print. But in the meantime, let your fingers do the walking. Whether you're looking for something free or just a bargain, let your fingers do the walking. And finally, just get lots of free stuff. Make the leprechauns jealous. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch my little video here. I hope it uh, is useful to you. If uh, there's anything I can help you with in the future, uh, please contact me. And in the meantime, God bless America.